It's another Moverglobe time. But which one's inside this one? Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Mover Globe unboxing. Right, so far, yes, we've got most of the. I'm collecting the solar system ones. I'm not going for the specially ones, the moons, even though I've got our moon, Luna, if you want to, some people call it. But I'm, we've got all of these apart from two. Um, gentle hint, there's another one coming soon. So this is the first one of those two, Jupiter, Saturn, everything else we've actually got. And yeah, Pluto as well. So I'll probably put, maybe put links in the description um, for the rest of those, for the video, so you can see those quite nicely. So this one, Mother Globe, here comes in a nice green box this time. Um, does state on the bottom what this is, but I'm gonna let you see what it is if I open this up. So, Brand new, comes with a nice little registration card for your globe. Doesn't actually say what it is, but I've got a seal card on there, serial number. So it comes with a base, which you peel that off, and it's a nice clear bottom and a clear top, so it just keeps it clean. Three stands, these are the ones which are they're either rounded or the flat, they're rounded on the top here. So these go into the stand. This is your first time seeing them over the globe, they're going like that, without that, but this nice rounded end just nicely sits the globe on top of. So you, you can do it that way, but there's potential that is actually a little bit of a sharp edge, so you don't really just do there. Nice and secure, no gluing in, in place. They're heavy enough, they will keep the socks in, in the stand. So let's get rid of this and see which one it is. Can you tell what it is yet? Never going to be my catchphrase. Oh, they are really well packed, these globes. So, let's get that over them there a second. Box has a bit of polystyrene in the bottom. These are plastic polystyrene, but this is a lot better for these sort of stuff. The, the, the cack horrible polystyrene that you get. A lot of packaging I don't really like. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we have at that for a beauty. Now, mobile gloves, if you've never seen them before, they are a plastic outer with an inner printed and then inside there is, which you can't see, below the, the, the surface of, of this, of the planet, is a mechanism that will get light and then turn that into motion, as they say. And we've got, like I said, we've got tons of these. The only fault I've ever had with these is, you can see there, right in the middle, there's a line there. That's where the two hemispheres of the outer are joined together. And on one side, directly below or directly above, if that's not there, will be a fill hole. And it's just trying to find that fill hole. And I've had, a lot of people have had, right, it's right, and I get it there, is occasionally this won't be perfectly filled in and sealed, so the oil can leak out of that. So if you've got this and it's mounted upside down, I mean, that's the freaky part to start with, it all stays where it is with like a gyroscope inside it. I'd recommend keeping that fill hole upwards, possibly even getting a small round piece of sellotape just to protect that, to cover that. There's, there's a tiny bit of a lip there, barely, you can, you can barely feel that, but it still, it is there. So there we go, there is the mother globe, thanks for watching. I mean, you can watch this just go around. I'm not sure, is that the right way around it's going or have I just moved it anyway? I used to have problems filming here because it is light in here, however, sometimes it doesn't actually work properly. So on the stand, yes, I'm not going to... There it goes, it's slowing down again. I will record something on here for this, but we'll put the stand legs in, and they'll go like that, and this just sits on there. Quite easy, quite nice. So we have here, we have Venus. Right, I think that way is the proper way it goes. This is obviously the top side of Venus with the pictures we've had. This, I don't think this is actually, is it this, you know, this is actually the surface what we've managed to get images from, because it's obviously Venus as an astronomy point, part of view is 
it's covered in sulfuric acid clouds. The pressure, if you get down to the, the ground level like this is, would, would crush anything to less than soup. So, astronomical wise, yes, it's a fascinating planet. Yes, it's a very, very close size wise to us. It's closer to us size wise to than, than we are to Mars, although Mars has got, we've got better chance in actually living there in the future. Well beyond me. But Venus, yes, it's a potential world where people think that global warming has gone balmy. Mars atmosphere left because possibly an asteroid impact. We don't know. All these, these little theories and stuff, it's potentially, yes it is, potentially no it isn't, I don't know. So it's gaining a little bit of lights because I've got lights above the desk, lights in here. But what I want to do is I want to set this up nice in a corner, get this thing working and show you this from the side angle because you can't, you can't see the side angle. Look, right, so I turn this round and, and you can't see the side. So there are amazing little gadgets, shall we say. I wouldn't say a desk toy. These, these retail in the UK for about £180. I don't, I don't, pay that much for them but I do know how to get a good discount so yes so we set you up alongside and we'll get a better view of this it is really difficult to get these actually working properly without natural daylight it's a bit tricky Now we've got the spotlight on top of to try and get as much illumination as possible and all the all of the lights in the garage are on so you can see on the reflections so unfortunately i can't get away with that the only thing i can actually do is zoom in on certain parts angle you so you can see a lot better without there we go there's the border in the middle you can't really get away with the line in the middle there on the horizon but this is quite a little bit of a shame, but the detail work on these is phenomenal. This is the four and a half inch model. They do six and they do nine inch. Nine inches are, yeah, they're phenomenal to look at, but absolutely ridiculously unpriced. But, yeah. But they are nice things to have. We like to see them when, when it's summer. We do like to see them spinning on their own. Ooh. Rolling there. So yeah, that they are good for what they are. I wouldn't expect anybody to go out and buy the entire collection unless you've got a lot of money. But they are a great gadget and an amazing talking point to yeah for friends and family. I say again, this is it is stopping because there's not enough light in here, not enough natural light. The artificial light, yes, it will work a little bit with, but it's not as good as the sun shining through. But also, Mova do recommend you do not repeat, do not put these in direct sunlight. The heat could and has um, boiled the oil and made made them break. So, yeah, they, they recommend keeping them lit, but not in direct sunlight. But just keep them clean, like I say, with a fill hole. Keep that on top as well. Just keeps you a little bit of extra help as well anyway. So there we go. Venus for you. She's stopped again, unfortunately. I mean, the torch I use is some little whatever torch, but in here, again, it's with the quite light. It, it's, it won't, it will not do quite well in here. Brighter light is very bright lights in here, but it's unfortunately not the right type. But still, the amount of detail you can see on this is just mind bottling. Yeah, very cool. So, with that in mind, 
if you want one of these, there are plenty of places around. There's ship. There's a there's a company I I buy these from, and I think this is probably the, the one before last I'll buy. Is David Shuttle. They're a nice company to deal with. They have some good discount codes, and they're always well packed when they they get delivered. So um, I don't know whether or not they'll they'll give me a discount code on some more. Maybe I I really would like once this whole, this whole system is completed and done, is to get one of the larger ones. They do a large sun. Or at least they do a sun, at least. Well, it's just, it, it, that, there is plenty of detail on the sun. So, technically, why not? But I would like that as a bigger, or maybe do something as some sort of diorama, put like a corner in the glass cabinet we have these stored. That will light up and maybe do something with these. I don't know. But these are great little gadgets. Like I said, these are. Look, I'm, I'm literally spinning this round. This is the. Um, yeah. You can hear the rattling inside of the inner ball on there but really good and do gain sticky fingers quite easily these are not a kid's toy do not let your children play with these unless you've got a very expensive um, yeah I've got decent bank balance you can buy new ones of these these are not a ball to throw these are not a ball to um yeah yeah I'll give fingerprints all this already so yeah these are a, a desktop item a cabinet item but this is Venus the second planet in our solar system. So with that in mind, I will thank you all for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Um, consider being a Patreon to help me out every month. I said a donation. Comment in, in the comments below and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.